Hey YouTube, it's Mike here and I'm bringing you guys my rewards basically based on the season ending round 9. Now, <clears throat> I was looking at my uh, overall right now and I'm 91 and I have 7 hours to go. So I could easily finish, well easily, not easily, but I could finish top 50. But I was looking at the rewards and I was like, you look at these rewards and you say, okay, I can't finish top 50. All I can do is finish top 100 if I finish top 50 for round 9. That is very possible. If I play one, one last game, I could I could be it. Um, but I'm looking at the reward. And it says 90 overall, top 100 special sentimental player. Now, I went to look at all the 90 cards. And the best card is basically uh, got, uh, Jeff Sanderson. <clears throat> now... If it would be a 90 plus guaranteed, then it would be worth it finishing top 100 because you could get anybody, you could get the Burry, you could get the, the Mike Bossy. I mean, there's a lot of potential, but if you're in the 90, most of the 90s, if you, let's say you're guaranteed only a 90, like you can't get more than nine, like a 90. Some of these cards are not that great. Most of them are actually even goalies or some of them are pretty bad players that I wouldn't want to have on my team um, and they're not worth much. And if you finish top 500, well, you're guaranteed a 150k pack that guarantees you basically 18 rares with four possibility of collectibles. That means you could go and get up to 22 rares. And since the packs are kind of juiced, I, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that I may just leave my position as it is right now and fall out of the top 100. As you can see, I'm 6 and 0. And just take the reward of a top 500. Now, I know some people would be like, oh, that's that's probably not the right choice. It depends. It depends because I'd rather have a chance at 22 rares uh, where I could pull anything than a 90 overall where it's only a 90. Now, I could be completely wrong because if it's anything 90 plus, then there's a lot of great pulls. But if it's only a 90, if it's one of the 90s, I don't like them. Uh, like I said, Goff uh, Ganderson, whatever his name is, Jefferson, is the only one that's actually really good. So, anyways, <clears throat> you guys are going to see what my decision was very soon. Because I'm going to be opening up the pack in just a few seconds. So, YouTube, I decided to basically let her run and go for the 150k pack i really did not like what i was seeing for the 90 overall polls i rather have a chance to pull anything i could be completely wrong like i said in my uh, at the beginning of the video that maybe it's a 90 plus guaranteed but it doesn't look like that's the way it's written so i i'm gonna take my chance I, well i have no choice to take my chance now because i basically let her run and i'm just gonna hope for the best that i get um something good <clears throat> in the uh, 150k pack anyway so i ended up finishing 140 in the world i could have definitely finished top 100 uh, at this point to be honest with you, like i said i really didn't give it i really didn't care if i was going to be top 100 uh, i really just wanted this as you can see the pack says it contains 18 gold rare players and four sentiment up to four so basically you could go up to 22 rares now before uh, I do I do open that pack uh, I think some people wanted to see my uh, my results uh, well you did see them but you know what I mean so for example like we see that I finished with 6865 points with 95 wins and 18 losses right so remember that 6865 if i wanted to be top 100 i needed 99 basically 7300 that would have been a difference of like 400 500 points basically so now if i would have finished top 50 there was a possibility of me actually getting those 500 points i'm not even sure maybe i had to finish even higher than top 50 i'm not even sure to be honest with you but whatever anyways um we'll go with this pack here and we'll hope for the best let's see if ea 
will give us some juice like they've been giving to everybody so far nothing great but it's only the first few cards Ah, come on. So 84 is our best full so far. We do get an 85. Definitely not the one I want. Marin also. I must have pulled him like 25 times already. We got one of those collectibles. 84 seems to be the best. We got a team of the week that sucks. James Neal. 84. Seems like we got all the 84s and a couple 85s. Yeah, pretty shit pack. So we're bad, uh, to be honest with you. Like, from beginning to the end, like, if you look at the rewards, uh, was it really worth playing over 100 games for it? I mean, honestly speaking, I, I you know, you, you look at them and you're like, besides the final round where you actually get a good pack. Uh, every other round was pretty shit. I mean, even finishing top 100, you will get one of those collectibles with a gold pack. A gold pack, seriously, it's pretty bad. You're, you're finishing top 100. And if you finish top 1,000, you're getting 5,000 coins. It was actually more worth it finishing top uh, 1,000 than finishing top 100 because the gold pack, you usually get fuck all out of them. You might as well just get 5,000 coins out of it, you know? So every round was exactly the same, except, for, of course, the season reward round where you got whatever like something to work for right but i mean was it really worth playing nine rounds for that i find now hopefully the next competitive seasons um uh, is something that is worthwhile because uh, i don't know if uh, first of all i hope it's not nine rounds again because i definitely not in the mood of playing nine rounds i feel like they should do four rounds one round per week and at the end of the month you get something good but every week there should be something nice to be able to win i still believe they should do a max uh, games like they do in fifa that's just my personal opinion not everybody's gonna agree with it me personally i, I think that um the, the the fact that people could just keep on playing 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 like i averaged basically around 12 games per per round uh because i ended up playing like about 120 games uh in nine rounds but i don't know i personally i don't, I don't feel like i want to do that again uh, and if i see it's the same thing I'll probably lose interest pretty quickly with competitive seasons if I, if I see another nine round season. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry if I got nothing. I took my chance and it didn't pay off. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.